Good morning, guys. But I was thinking about how much has happened, how much has transpired since our last talk, which wasn't that long ago, really. There's a lot going on. You guys have a lot of moving parts. So I, I appreciate you taking the time to... Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we stay running, that's for sure. How are you both doing? How are, you, how are things going? Uh, doing wonderful. You know, doing really good. Just staying really busy, staying uh, focused, you know, waking up every day with that passion. I mean, every single day we... we we wake up with it. Life in the boiler room, as we call it. Yes. Matt, you had mentioned this is a this is a, a festival season too coming up. So there's yeah, yeah. So we're going to be actually in the Jack Daniels tent in the Houston rodeo, and we're going to be actually competing in that as well. So we're super, super pumped. In fact, we're going to bring the pit down next weekend. Then the competition is the weekend after that. We're going to be at the Austin rodeo, um, I believe, it's in the Google tent on that one. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be um, going down to New Orleans uh, for the Hog for the Cause, which is going to be really cool because we're going to be donating one of our uh, new release uh, Santa Maria's. Oh, wow. So, El Nino. The El Nino. Yeah. So, That's the official name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we have the El Rey, so we thought it fit really good with the El Nino. So it, that's going to be our backyard version. The El Rey is our uh, – I don't even know if we had that last time we talked, but – that's our big commercial NSF ETL certified for executive chefs and stuff like that. That um, th these are forever yeah. pits. These things last thirty plus years. Santa Maria Grill. Yeah, patented. Yes, that's something else too that we've we've rolled into. A lot of the designs that we've done are unique to M and M. So we wanted to get whenever a customer buys from us, uh, not only the experience of buying the pit and all that other stuff. We want to make it to where it's very exclusive too, because we spend a lot of time on our designs and stuff. We want to say, hey, when somebody walks in, they're going to go, that's an M&M. That is an M&M. And so for that, and to keep it to where we can continue that, we decided to get design patents and uh, we've gotten other patents as well on uh, a lot of our stuff, actually. Functional patents as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of work, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, we talked about this off camera and I made a joke about it that when we were doing the, uh, the especially the NSF, it took like a year, year and a half. And I think it took a year, year and a half off my life. It was so, it was so much yeah. to it. Let's hope you were destined to like 110. And so it'll, you know. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, so we did that. So the design itself uh, on the L Ray is patented. Our L Ray is our unique patented Santa Maria style grill. So the L Ray is the actual full commercial version. So it's a kitchen workhorse. It's completely hand built, hand poured, fire castable, 2,500 degree insulation, and our unique cantilever arm suspended grate style. It's a gear and fall wheel lifted system that is also now NSF and ETL certified. And what does that mean? So NSF is basically that it's, that it's food safe. So basically they come out to, they come out here, they check everything, make sure that these things are safe for you to cook on. Uh, ETL, which is EUL, uh, is that it's fire safe that they can put it underneath a vent hood, that they can cook on it inside the building, which is getting more and more strict in putting this equipment in here is these fire marshals, they're wanting to have equipment that say, hey, this is safe to use. You know, so we actually had to fly them down here. We had to do a makeshift room. We had sensors all over the place. Wow. And they, they basically try to burn it down. So they basically just fire this thing up, let it run as hot as it can, and they put sensors all the way around this thing. And it passed with flying colors. The door handle itself, after running all day long with all the sensors and stuff, to be able to open up the doors was, what, 78 degrees? Yeah, it was less than 80 degrees. That is amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. that's fascinating. And it, it makes sense that they have to do that due diligence, but that is, that's a lot of extra steps that you guys went to yeah. to make sure that it's safe. Time in it, yeah, there's, sure. there's a lot. And we want to make it to where, you know, these executive chefs and these pit masters and stuff like that, it's already hot. It's already grueling. It's already, you're doing 20,000 steps or plus or more a day. And, you know, sitting in front of a hot fire, you know, these still get warm, but like your body won't get warm because it's so highly insulated. You can, this thing can be running and you can touch the side of it wow. and it's still perfectly, you know, it's not hot, you know, where a typical Santa Maria, typical any live fire, even, even um, your typical barbecue, you know, your, your equipment, it gets very hot. Mm -hmm. It residuates a lot of heat. It residuates. Wow, I'm making up words here. We'll patent that one too. We'll patent that one there. But we, but we do, again, like we talked about last, a lot, uh, last time, is a, it's a lifestyle. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it easier on these guys. 
to make their lifestyle better. You know, to where when they're going home tired, it just made it made it that much better for them for their health. You know, to where they're not sitting next to a you know that uh, that fire and it's just burn them up. Where you can, where you know, it's better on them. And also, too, they have the knowledge, knowing going into it, purchasing that from you, that they could actually put it in their restaurant. Yeah. Because because that's, that's that a lot of people don't know if they can. That helps with all the red tape, like he's talking about getting that you have to get the hoops, you have to jump through to get things done, especially putting up brick and mortar place and restaurants. It's ridiculous how much you deal with. So so that's the, is that's the paperwork that you provide with the the pit when people get it or if they need it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. See, and, and that's the one thing that like uh, we're doing uh, tropical in, in Florida, you know, those guys there are awesome, you know, and if it wasn't for NSF and ETL, there's no way they would ever been able to get a pit in there, you know, b- because, you know, some of these cities are getting so strict. And when you buy, you know, expensive pieces of equipment and then you don't have that in that head going, I might not be able to use this. You know, that happened to Brandon yeah. where he had bought the pits sitting there and they came in and said, uh-uh, you mm-hmm. can't use these. So now you scramble, you know, and what we want to do is we want to take that from the back of their mind. That we're, that's the last thing they got to worry about. We're here for you. If any, if if you do have any issues with any fire marshals and stuff like that, we've experienced it. We've been through it. We can talk you through. So it gives you that peace of mind. That's great. No, I because I talked to so many friends in Los Angeles that have places, yeah. and they a lot of them have have had struggles, struggles and struggles and struggles with so many different things. So that is that's a great peace of mind. Because yeah, yeah, you are putting down a lot of money, and that's also you're also there. Also, time too. Like there's, yes. You know, yes. <laughs> time is worth something. If you're if you're a year out or six months out or five months out, whatever it is, and then you find out you can't use something, that's it's heartbreaking. It's it, it really is, and you know, architects aren't aren't cheap, especially mm-hmm. on new builds. You know, they're they're not cheap. So if you have to go in there, then you have to get an architect to come back in and change the equipment. So there there's there's even a lot more to it than just saying you know, the time and the money. And that adds even way more money when you do that stuff. And shout out to Danny at Heritage. His pitch should be delivered in the next couple weeks. So uh, Kevin also at uh, Blood Subs, uh, he's getting a pit from us as well. So we're we're moving into California. Are they um, getting rotisseries? Yes, both of them are getting rotisseries. Danny's getting the 1,000. Uh, Kevin is getting the 2,000. Oh, wow. And that, is that going into Kevin's um, La Brea, the location on La Brea? Yeah. Um, so do you have NSF for all your pits certification? Yeah, that's kind of the big announcement that we're wanting to make. This is something that we've been working on for a very long time. It's very dear to us that our, our offsets are now going to be NSF and ETL certified. And as far as we know, uh, we're the only company that has a standard on their offsets that you are now going to be getting an NSF and ETL certified offset. It's the first in the world I know that's standard on it. That's huge. Yeah, that that for us is huge too. And, and the piece, like we were talking about saying earlier, the peace of mind to know that you're getting an offset, an offset that is NSF and ETL certified. And even our trailer rig, a separate thing that we have to go through, uh, and those are also NSF and ETL certified as well. So even our trailer units are also certified as well. Okay, so let's go through the list of everything just so that people know. So your offsets, <laughs> your your trailers, your rotisserie, and the um, L ray, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge, and that's a big deal. And that took you guys a long time to get that done. A lot of time, and stress. Long, yeah, a lot of time, and like you just said, stress. It was it was not an easy thing to do in this beautiful office. Yeah, this isn't going to be in the background. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter what the office looks like. It matters what you're putting out, and it, it's that's that's really crazy. And so now, is that going forward, or is that something that if someone places an order today, they'll their pits will be NSF and, and what's that one? E A U or E T L E T L. And so so going forward from today, they'll be NSF certified and E T L certified. Correct. It, it started with Hutchins, uh, Hutchins pit that we did for him, uh, that we brought the lock cart, that we're building a full out trailer rig for him. Uh, it actually, we certified on his pit. He was cool, cool enough because oh. we actually have to, you know, do a lot of uh, work to get that thing, you know, way to build it. Uh, like I said, that makeshift room and do all these other things, all that. And uh, he was really gracious to let us say, hey, man, he, he thought it was awesome. He's like, so he's like, I'm going to get the first certified one from guys that go he's got the first one so from hutchins pit on 
everything from here on out is going to be um, certified. Wow. Has Hutchins received his yet? No, it's going to be a couple months. That's going to be a bad rig. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to do. It's going to be, yeah, that one's going to be nuts. Yeah. We're so is that, is that mobile or is that going to be at one of his locations? It's mobile. So it'll be at one of his locations, but then he'll take it, he'll use it for. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. We, yeah. We, we took it out as a teaser to Texas Monthly. We took it in bare metal, basically unfinished, you know. That is, that's huge news. So thank you for, thank you for letting everyone know that that's, that's a massive with the El Rey. Then the El Nino is the little brother to that, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's our backyard version. We're going to be trying to hit uh, our backyards uh, pretty hard uh, in about the middle of the year to the end of the year. So we have a lot of really cool things that we still haven't launched. A lot of great ideas that we have that we're hoping to get done in the next few months. But the El Rey, we love live fire cooking. Like we love live fire cooking. So we've decided to go ahead and start on the El Rey, the little, uh, I'm sorry, the El Nino, the little brother, um, to be able to get customers that aren't in a commercial setting, yeah. but they can get almost a commercial type fit. So would that be something that would be um, mobile? Like they could move it around their, like their backyard or is that, so it'll yeah. be on, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's mobile. Yeah, so we have, we're going to have, when it's done, we released the kind of preview of the 36. Yeah. We'll have a 48 and probably end up making, I think for New Orleans, like a little 24, a little small guy. But if you look at it, when we show the whole thing, it's it's damn near as nice as the El Rey. It's ridiculously yeah. nice. Like the components. It's just a shrunken version of it. Yeah, it's just a lightened version and it's mobile. You know, it's easier to move around. It's not, you know, near as insulated as the El Rey because that's a workhorse. It works great. We cook on the one we have all the time. The handles don't get hot on it. You know, you're not going to get smoked if you just lean on it on accident. So <laughs> so, that, so the one that you guys have is a 36 or is it a 24? 36. 36, yeah. 36. So you'll be offering the 36, probably a 24, but also a 48. Like you'll be offering different sizes when, when this does come out. This because, you know, things could change too a little bit when you do actually release these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the El Nino, we are going to be hopefully launching in the next month. Oh, now, you are? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Launching in the next month, yes. So you'll be launching for orders, and then what will be probably the lead time, you think? We're hoping that it's going to actually be one of our shorter lead times as well. We're hoping that that's going to have anywhere from four to eight week lead time. Oh, that's wow. the goal. That's, that's going to be the, the best price thing that we offer and also the quickest that we offer. Okay, and those will be available for order on your website, right? Correct. We haven't put them on there yet, but yes, they will be. Would that be something too that people can tweak, customize, or will that be a standard kind of issue thing? We're customizers. We we yeah. we're gonna have a standard, but we're also gonna have where you can customize. We got we already have a lot of stuff that we've we've talked about that you're gonna be able to take our grapes are you know what four or five separate grapes. You can't see it. It all looks like one piece, but you can actually separate them. And we're going to have blacktop options and all that stuff. So there's going to be all kinds of different options that you that you can choose from. Yeah. So the options probably the options alone will be enough for customization. I don't think people will be going too far out of the ball game for that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It'll be a pretty yeah. standard setup, but like like anything, you know, we we we'll have multiple color options too. So you're not just stuck in one box with one color. You know, people want to you know it's backyard people want to play it up a little bit. And then also too, people can imagine that a lot of your versions of your commercial items will be eventually tooled towards the backyard versions, right? That'll, that's something that you guys are all, you're thinking about. I don't, I don't want to tell them everything because we don't know what's going to happen, but eventually there'll be backyard versions of a lot of stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, like the backyard rotisserie, you know, that we, that we're going to be going, you know, coming out with really soon too. You know, uh, what, what we do is we take all our knowledge that we have from the commercial side and we want to provide it, you know, down to the backyard side where you're still getting a, an insanely built product, insanely built product that we've developed from our big stuff, from, you know, our commercial side. You know, a lot of a lot of people typically, they, they start with, you know, the backyard stuff and, you know, and that's where it's at, where we take our knowledge from the commercial stuff that we know lasts for generations and we implement that down into our backyards. Is there anybody with rotisseries for the backyard? Like, is that something that people have? I think there's a couple other ones that are somewhat, but they're gas, you know, so. Oh yeah, that's true. The that's only true. one, so I had a guy fly in, Bettina actually, uh, had a guy fly in from North Carolina or South Carolina, yeah, South Carolina, South Carolina and he came and looked at it. He was looking at getting a, a, an old hickory or whatever. 
and they're all kind of gas. We're the only ones that I know of. Yeah, that's one of all wolves. Straight that's wolves. cool. Like I can't imagine. Like there's because there's also there's so many guys that have restaurants and things that would love to have a small thing for their house or yes. guys that work at restaurants or that go to, if you go to Heim all the time or you go to Tortado or whatever or to Miller's or something like you'd be, Oh, I, you know, I want one of those for my house, but that's something that, that you, no one's, yeah, that I'm so curious to see how much that's going to blow up. And, and I, and I guess I would love to do a part three when those, when we'll just do a backyard version of this yeah, uh, yeah. episode. Yeah, Cause yeah. that'll be, that'll be huge. That's really, that's crazy. So that's so, so those are the two big things. Those are the, the two big pieces of news, right? That you wanted to to break. Yeah, yeah. That uh, the ETL the NSF, and then that we've gotten you know patents, and then we've also got patents on our rotisseries too. So it's uh, on our commercial rotisseries. So uh, and we did a lot of those was more from like uh, again my background repairing, traveling all over the nation, working on smokers and stuff like that. We've designed things that typically break for the customer and cost them money, and we're like well, let's design something. And, you know, so we did and it works flawlessly. So we wanted to protect that for the customer that gets an m M&M, that they'll be protected and they'll have something that's very exclusive that we know works for them. And then also some of them are designed. We've changed a lot of things on them, uh, even just for cooking. We've had a lot of our customers. See, when, when customers call us and talk to us, they're like, hey, I'd like to do this or I'd like to do that. A lot of people are like, no, this is the way it is. And him and I are like, there's nothing that we we can't do or you know that that's our mantra like we we don't like saying we can't that's not in our wheelhouse yeah. what's your problem let us let us go to the lab we'll solve it you know yeah that's yeah. smart and also too you're exactly. that's feedback that's straight feedback yeah yeah and you could tweak things along the way because of that feedback mm-hmm. what are you adding to your rotisseries you added something right yeah yeah so our rotisseries um we've added a uh, digital thermostat Digital, that's what we're um, and this we've been um we've been really we're really close on launching that very we've done a lot of set down time on it and again like anything we call ourselves problem solvers like that's what we do we, we solve problems if we see an issue we're like okay let's fix it if a customer brings up an issue to us we're like okay we solve problems daily so like let's see what you do and that was one of the things with the digital thermostat is that we thought you know it'd be really cool that you know uh, that's where everything's trending. You know, we offer a mechanical if you want a mechanical. If you want the kind of the old school look, there's nothing that's awesome yeah. there for that. But if you want something that's, you know, that's digital, that you can have an app on your phone that's already been developed, or you can go through and you can be in Italy if you wanted to be, and you're shopping in, you know, Central Texas, you can go and you can look and you can see what exactly is going on on that smoker. Wow, that's huge. Mm-hmm. It's got a chart recorder on it. It's got to where you can you can change it on the back end. So you can have some setup like if you're doing pork, you can just put pork on there and it automatically changes internally. It's got your set time. It's got your set temp. And this is all wood fire too. This is not gas. Yeah. So this is all done off a 100% wood fired unit. Huge. And, you have, and you're going to have these capabilities. I have done research after research. I put these things on digital computers. I put them on analogs. I've done the whole thing. And we've got that arch damn damn near. You know, I shouldn't cut, but uh, it's that close. <laughs> darn, <laughs> darn near, darn near, darn near. I don't know what kids are watching, <laughs> but we've got it right there where we want it to be. So it's coming very soon. Oh, that is killer. That is really cool. And can you explain for people why you guys have the shape that you have for your fireboxes for the yeah. offsets? The one thing that we really like about the square bottom round top, okay? One of the biggest thing is, is we, we love fire management. We love coal beds, okay? So getting a good coal bed is very important, especially when you're tracing, you know, good quality smoke and all that stuff, you know. Uh, well, the, what we found with just the circular ones is you couldn't get a, a coal bed that we liked. You couldn't get a big enough coal bed. And especially in our rotisseries, it, that round circular one, you couldn't get very much logs in there. So what we were struggling is you'd have you'd have a couple logs in there and it just was just too small. So whenever you square that bottom, but we love the flow going in. So it's a nice natural flow going in and going into your, you know, going into your cooking chamber. So we love that flow. So what we did was is like we square bottom, we get a really nice good coal bed. We can two, two, two while, while we're in there. If you want to go that much, you can do two, two, you can do four if you want. And you can still get that really nice air while you have. Uh, that that good coal bed, and then with that with that being said, uh, the the square footage that we gain from doing just circular to square at the bottom, you know, is tremendous. It's tremendous. Yeah. 
we've, you know, we built it and we've actually have displays. What a, and I have pictures that I can send to you. What like a square, a square bottom one to a circular one, the, the amount that you gain in wood. Yeah. So what we do is, is once you get that good coal bed built up, you only need one log. You only need two logs. And that's because we have such a good coal bed. Because again, we love clean, consistent air movement. For example, he just working on the digital thermostat and tracking the heat and, you know, the highs and lows and how it works on that. Testing the firebox, our firebox and insulation. Packed the firebox at night. How cold was it out? It was like 38 degrees like outside. 38. We left the pit outside, packed the firebox at night like you're leaving the restaurant and fired up. And it held tent for almost 14 hours. Wow. Uh, with wood, wood fire, no gas, no assist. Yeah, and we and that wasn't at 200. We we set it at 250. Yeah. So we set it at 250 degrees. It's 30 degrees outside, 38 degrees outside in the elements. It went typical cook hold is around 145, is around typically where you want to be. It made it to one, uh, it was at 150 at 12 hours. And by the time I think we would have got there, we would have been right there about four. So it, it held damn near 250 degrees, wow. 12 to 14 hours straight. You know, I'm sorry, 12 hours, and then you would have two hours of your, your 145 uh, whole time. Taper, whole time, yeah. Taper and, all. and I actually have all that digitally or, or analog done on a sheet that I can show you, hey, this is what this did in 30 degree weather. Which is obviously not something that you're going to always have, but that's huge. That is, that's yeah. amazing. Okay, so that, that clarifies that because I've had people ask because they, they didn't, a lot of people, you know, do things for aesthetics. You're not doing things strictly for aesthetics. That's important because you want things to look killer and look amazing. Yeah. Functional but it's, aesthetics, yeah. Functional aesthetics, okay. Functional that's a, aesthetics is one of our core values. Our number one thing is, our number one thing is for the customer. That's number one. We want to provide a better life for them. That's what I was saying earlier. With that, we started with that. So now we've got all these internals built up where we want it to be. Now we can make them look awesome. We can do the aesthetic part. We can do that. But our core value was doing a better life for the customer, getting better uh, maintenance on it, getting, you know, things that last longer, things that, you know, uh, hold heat better. That's been the core of what we did first. And then we can come in and now we can do all these other cool designs and, and yeah. paints and stuff. And that's something, too, that you that you could pass on to your kids someday. Like the, you're building lineage things, things that will be forever. Yes. Oh, 100%. Oh, for the rotisseries, just so people know, do, what, do you have a bunch of different sizes right now? Or are there like a, a standard size that most people are getting? Yeah, we have four different sizes. Okay. Yeah, so the one that's been exploding, the one that's been going crazy is our NM2000. That's our largest one. Um, that one is that one is, is just skyrocketed. And then we have the 1000. The big one will cook around 72 briskets at a time. Wow. So it, it cooks a ton. And then we have the MM1000. We have the MM240. Uh, and then we have our backyard. Okay. which we call like the 120. We have our backyard, we have our catering. Then you step up to the 1,000, which will do 48 to 60 briskets. And then we have the 2,000, which will do 72 briskets. Wow. I wanted to talk about, you guys did a pit for um, Wright's Barbecue, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. He came down and hung out for a long time. I had a really good time with him. What a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love him. He's always been really cool. We like it was funny because when our first interview, we kept joking about like Nike and Disney, like random stuff. Because we I think his pits are all named like strange things. And so now all I have to do is like text him like hashtag Nike or hashtag some like some corporation. <laughs> and it's just like an inside joke that we have for like yeah. anything that we, <laughs> that we do because he's he's such a cool guy. And it's and he's had to deal with a lot of crazy things like how like having to put drive through the pandemic. Is the one for win? Is that for the one for win? Is for the actual. Um, chefs at the win really yes yeah yeah, yeah it's there that's yep. killer and that one's white right right that one's white. white and gold yeah yep. white and gold is that so that one is in the win is it down like in the, the recesses of their place like is that how they because they have like <laughs> don't they have like giant kitchens and things below all these casinos and... yeah i think it's more their mobile unit that, that they cook when they're doing you know big events and all that okay. stuff they move around stuff and do that We've also been in uh, Resorts World, too. They bought one as well. But this is not for blood, so this is for just Resorts World in general? Yeah, this yeah. is. Wow. Yeah. So we went and cooked down for the NFR with uh, uh, Blood Brothers, Quee and Robin. They're awesome people. Amazing. Awesome people. I love those guys. We had a fantastic time. And so we cooked on it, and they liked it so much, and they're like, we want to keep it. You know, so they kept, they're keeping it. And one of the things that they're going to do that's really cool that we're pretty excited about is for 4th of July, 
they're going to crane this thing up to their pool. And it's like, I don't remember yeah. how many floors like up, fifth, fifth, yeah, yeah. fifth floor or something like that. And it's got like an infinity pool. And they're going to put this thing out there and they're going to have it on full display and everything, you know, so they're going to be cooking on it. That's killer. Up top. It's going to be really cool. Oh, that's so awesome. And then also, I think it's cool that you guys are doing something. You, well, you guys did one for Little Miss Barbecue. Yes, we did. Well, yeah. Scott's killer. What a good guy. Yeah, Scott and Rebecca, they are awesome people. And it was at the PGA. They were they brought it, they brought it straight. So we we were up there again. We were talking about maybe we could be on a reality TV show because we have every single every single thing we do is right against the deadline, right against the deadline. And his pit was one of the first ones I had to call him and tell him, like, man, we usually always season the pit before we send it to a customer. Like we do all that necessary stuff. And I was like, we were up against it. We had the snow day here, the ice day here. So we had missed three days. And I, we couldn't season it for him. So I'd call him up and say, hey, this is, you know, what I do. He was really cool. And because they went straight from here, straight to the PGA. Wow. Yeah, yeah it was on, on pretty much on the green. <laughs> yeah. So is that going to be in his sunny slope location? Is that where? I'm not sure which location it's going to be in. I yeah, it's... or just, a, or he'll have it just to use. There. And then also the high one, the purple finish, the TCU. That one is that has that one shipped yet, or is that one going coming out soon? It's it's coming out soon. Um, we built it because he was going to be well. It's going to be for his commissary, you know, and he was going to go to uh, some of the games before then, but he got tied up, and so yeah. we painted it and did all that stuff for him and all that, you know, uh, make it look cool. I think each one that he does that he's getting from us, we're going to do kind of a cool scheme, yeah, a little custom flair on it. Yeah. And as we talked, and I'll put a link to our previous interview. You can do any finish. You could do just about anything that anybody wants. And especially with your background, Matt, that you have. That's also something, too, that sets you apart is that a lot of people are doing cool finishes, but then there's like M&M level finishes. I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's really it's really cool. Taylor Sheridan, how does, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. So I got a call from um, from Brandon uh, Hurtado, and he's like, hey, man, we need to, I, I, I need to make this into a trailer room. He's like, you know, because he's been wanting for a, for a long time to convert it to a trailer lid. And he's like, you know, um, we have the opportunity to cook for uh, Taylor Sheridan. Levi is his executive chef there. And he invited him in. And I was like, yeah, oh. okay, we can get this done. We can get this done. <laughs> yeah, on. So we had two weeks to cut that thing off the legs, to get the to get everything built, the trailer, everything. We cut the firebox off. We put our brand new, the patented firebox in. We slid that in to get that thing completely painted, done, ready to rock and roll in two weeks. We got that done. Crazy. So, so was that for just for like a, a rap party or something or for something? Yeah, like... it was for an event that he was doing. Uh, and so we were doing the cooking and yeah. you know, doing the smoking of the meats and all that for him. So it was at the at the Bosky Ranch. Yeah. Is that Taylor's Ranch? Yeah. Wow. And so for people that might not know, Taylor, Taylor Sheridan is Yellowstone, 1883, 1923, yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. 40 other 40 other things that are coming up. Rip was actually there. Cole Hauser, I think is his name. Yeah. Oh, he cool. Because he had his head in the pit, but apparently he walked by with his sons and said, that's a badass smoker, sons. Like, damn it, he missed Rip. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's amazing. That's, yeah. that is, what? who would have thought that, you know, five years ago, whatever, 10 years ago, that this would be the trajectory. And it just seems like more and more opportunities, more fun things. And you guys are humble and open to these things. And you, but you're just head like, you know, nose to the grindstone kind of thing. And now it's, uh, you know, it's I've been, ground off. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but I've been saying a lot and I've actually recently, yeah, getting the, you know, getting the opportunity to thank, you know, thank you to Brandon and Levi for giving us that opportunity to, to do that, to meet Taylor Sheridan. You know, this guy that's doing all these amazing things. And then he'll come up and just look at a pit and just going, this is amazing. You know, this is amazing. And then he'll open up the doors and he'll get to show them and get to meet these people that you see on TV. And it's just, it's an experience that, you know, I never would have ever thought, you know, that, you know, 15 years ago where barbecue would brought, would bring us, you know, and mm -hmm. it's like uh, Deandra Simmons. Uh, she's a real housewives of Dallas, you know getting to meet with her and getting to do all that stuff with her and, you know, getting to cook with her at her house and, you know, and, and do all that stuff. It's really cool, you know, getting to meet Rodney Scott and Rashid and all these guys that are huge 
you know, in the game, it's just, it's been, it's been really cool. Is there anything that you want to end this with? Like any, I guess that's sort of like a thing that we could, we could end this with, but is there any message or do you, anything do you want people to know about Eminem that we haven't talked about or that people might not know? It changes and fluctuates, but what would you say is your current lead time for a restaurant? Right now we're, we're around six months, six or six seven months. months. Yeah. And that's basically for whether you get an offset or rotisserie or any of that stuff. We're trying to speed it up. You know, that's about what our lead time is. Yeah. That's not bad. We've got an ex- expansion coming right now. Yeah. Some serious uh, new inventory and organization and structure that we're working on. So the fun backside of the business. Yeah. Because nobody <laughs> told us how to do it. The thing is, yeah. we just we just were builders and nobody told us like how to run a actual business. Yeah. So, you know, you're like, you got to learn about the fly. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Building a full blown manufacturing business on the fly, you know? Yeah. So you're, so you're expanding your business. There's, there's a lot of that stuff that's in the yeah. background that people won't see, but it's. Yeah, yeah. That's more almost of the stress. I mean, the deadlines are stressful because that's like the, the thing about the deadlines is, is if we don't finish that pit on time, our customers don't open their location. So like we have to, like, we can't miss deadlines. So that's one of the things that we, you know, that's, you know, kind of gets a little bit like, oh, you know, and it, it's that way every week. Like it's, it is every single week. Um, it's almost like a pit's getting painted and it's on a trailer the next morning, you know, and it's ready to rock and roll. So that's been fun. Yeah. It's exciting. There's a lot of you guys, you guys are really busy and you're working six, seven days a week. It's a, it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's I'm, I'm real, I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm, I'm happy that you're letting me share this journey with my audience and our audience and everyone, because I, this is, it's an exciting time for you. And this will be fun too, to look back for you to see yeah. where your head yeah. was and what, what you guys were, how you're feeling that. And you guys seem like, you know, you're not frazzled. You're just working hard. Are there any f- fun pits coming up? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a couple in particular that, um, that we're really excited about that. Uh, one of them, you know, is for Ernest and David, you know, uh, at Burn Bean. So like, uh that one is going to be really cool. We're going to, we're, we're going to fit in with their vibe of how they, how, you know, the way their restaurants lined out and stuff like that. We're really excited to work with those guys. You know, Nino as well. uh, yeah. Yeah. And El Nino as well. So they're, uh, they're going to get an El Nino. So that's awesome. Are really they cool. getting a rotisserie and an El Nino or is that's it right. a, yep. Yep. a 2000? Uh, they're going to get a 1000. A 1000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to do some cool, it, it's not going to be ultra thing. It's going to be really cool classic look to it's gonna be really we're real excited about that because those guys are just those guys are amazing they're like you guys they're next level they're thinking differently they're doing things differently and so when can people imagine that they'd be seeing that in their kitchen like in the fall sometime probably no uh I, we've had this they've had it on the order for a while now uh we're hoping uh in about four weeks or less in fact we're framing it up right now so oh, wow. we're not very far at all from, from them getting theirs. And this is going in their pit room, right? Not the, it's going I, in I their say, pit room. I said kitchen, but I meant pit room. Yeah. 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 Same thing, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, pit, it's a kitchen for a barbecue place. Yeah, <laughs> okay. It's going to be really cool, too, because it's going to be on display. So, like, you know, their pit room, it's actually the nose is going to be uh, in the pit room, and then you're going to be able to see the full side of it and stuff like that. So customers are going to be able to see this, this really cool pit you know, setting right there. So it's going to be really cool for that. Wow. And then the El Nino later on will be coming? Yeah, the El Nino's later on. That may be those are gonna be more uh personal use. Oh like, gotcha. okay. like that's gonna be using it for his personal use and all that stuff. So yeah, I put um, that in there. He's he's pumped about getting he's getting number one. So. yeah, he's getting he's actually that's a good point. Yeah, he's getting zero zero one. He's getting David our, David is David is it's cool. So he gets zero zero one. That's you know that's awesome. And then I think you had mentioned at one point that are you doing something for Koi? Yes, yeah. So that's another one we're super excited about to uh Don. Uh, we're hoping that one's gonna be done in a couple months, and yeah, so he, I love his style. Uh, I mean, we, we we talk about him a lot of the time. You know, he just come out with this new sauce, is a uh, curry sauce. We're excited to work with him too. Uh, we worked alongside with him in Lockhart. Yep, Texas Muffet. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, Don's a great guy. He's a very cerebral. He's always thinking of something new. Like he's just, yeah, he's he's another guy that you. He's on. Whenever I think about him, I always think about he's doing something really special and he really cares about what he does too. They're bringing more of the like refined culinary world into, mm-hmm. into the barbecue, which is awesome. Everything up, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And that and that's what it deserves. And that's that's the way you stand out too. I think that to add your heritage or add certain things, those are that's yeah. 